This is the holy city of Jerusalem in the 33rd year of our Lord at the time of the Passover. The Pasch of ancient Judea, the traditional offering up of a sacrifice to God, always the holiest of feasts. But tonight, as Jerusalem prepares to eat the sacrificial lamb according to the ancient ritual, a new victim, the Son of God, is about to offer himself in sacrifice. It is no longer a question of whether this blasphemer is to be put to death. We all agree that he should die. But not during the festival days. Why? When else can he be taken more easily? If at all. Three times already he has slipped through our fingers. We must risk that. Aaron is right. The city is now too crowded with followers of this Jesus. Three days ago, they offered to make him a king. But he refused. No matter. If the people are not to be thrown in tumult, he must not be taken now. What is it, Malchus? The man Judas would speak with the high priest. He who follows the Galilean? The Iscariot? He has been here before. Send him in, Malchus. I can deliver him into your hands. You seek the Christ. I can hand him over to you. In return for what? Money. We will not want him until the holy days are past. I can hand him over. Until you do, there will be no payment. I know his every move. Tomorrow, he will be here in Jerusalem to eat the Pasch. And the price? Thirty silver pieces. With longing. I have desired to eat this pasch with you before I suffer. But there is a passage in scripture which remains to be fulfilled. The man who shared my bread has lifted his heel to trip me up. Amen, amen, I say to you. One of you shall betray me. Is it I, Lord? Is it I? Lord. Is it I? Is it I? Master, is it I? Is it I?
Is it I, Lord? Thou hast said it. That which you do, do quickly. My children, it is only for a short time that I am with you. You will seek me, but where I go, you cannot come. Lord, where are you going? Where I go, you cannot follow me now, but you shall follow me hereafter. Why can I not follow you now? Tonight, you will all lose courage over me. For it has been written of me, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of his flock will be scattered. Lord, I will lay down my life for you. Will you lay down your life for me, Peter? I say to you, before the cock crows twice, you shall deny me thrice. I say to you, if you would take him, take him now. He knows of my betrayal. You fool! It was no fault of mine. I said no word, gave no sign. There is no helping it, Caiaphas. He must be taken. He will go next from the feast to Gethsemane. It is his custom to go to the garden and pray. And from there? I do not know. But you can take him in the garden tonight. After tonight, I can promise nothing. Malchus! Call out your men. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Yet a little while and the world sees me no more. I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. But when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will teach you all truth. You have sorrow now, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man shall take from you. Behold, the hour comes, and it is now come that you shall be scattered, every man going his own way, and shall leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will find only tribulation. But take courage. I have overcome the world. Father, glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. I have completed the work you gave me to do. I am offering a prayer for those you have entrusted to me. For yours they are. I want them to behold my glory. The glory you bestowed on me because you love me. Just, Father, 
May the love with which you love me dwell in them as I too dwell in them. Father, the hour has come. Let us go hence. My soul is ready to die with sorrow. Stay here and watch with me. Father, if it is possible, let this chalice pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. You have your instructions. You will find the Christ as Judas has said. In Gethsemane, arrest him and bring him here to me. Peter, could you not watch one hour with me? Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak.
My father. If this chalice may not pass away, but I must drink it. Thy will be done. This man we are to arrest, the Christ. How will we know him from the others? Whomsoever I shall kiss, that is he. Hold him fast. Sleep and take your rest hereafter. The time has come. Behold, the Son of Man is to be betrayed into the hands of sinners. Let us go on our way. Rise up. Already, he that is to betray me is close at hand. Judas, would you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? Whom do you seek? Jesus of Nazareth. I am Jesus of Nazareth. Whom do you seek? Jesus of Nazareth. I have told you already that I am Jesus. If I am the man you are looking for, let these others go free. Peter. Put up thy sword into its place. Think you that I cannot ask my father and he will give me presently more than 12 legions of angels? Am I not to drink the chalice which my father has appointed for me? You have come out to my arrest with swords and clubs, as if I were a robber. And yet I used to sit teaching in the temple close to you, day after day, and you never laid hands on me. But your time has come now, and darkness has its will. <laughs>
the sacrifice has begun. The victim, Christ, the Son of God, has voluntarily shed his blood. The redemption of mankind is at hand.